normally if it's just like someone coming in for a brief interaction, I'm so understanding because it's like, I'm in Japan. You're like, this is my one shot to see this guy and show him that like, I really appreciate him as a fan and maybe take a photo. Meanwhile, let's watch the Sea Dog video real quick about traveling once again. Snipers. Just kidding, it's a green screen. I'm uh, partnered with Elgato now. That's quite nice because I like all their stuff. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Hey, oh, oh God, I didn't close it properly. I figured, hey, when I want to talk about something that involves live streaming, I'll just upload it to the second channel and talk about it. And today, I want to talk a bit about stream sniping. A lot of people have asked we my opinions on it because, as you know, I do a lot of IRL content. And, well, I've had my fair share of stream snipers. <laughs> Not always good or bad. First of all, I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta pee, I'll be back. a stream sniper? If you don't know, a stream sniper is basically when somebody tracks down a live streamer while they are streaming. Obviously, not while they're in their house because that would be extremely weird and creepy but for some reason it's kind of accepted if the person is streaming in real life let's say i'm walking around which i've done many times and if somebody is uh happens to be geographically close to where i'm streaming they might drive or run or walk to wherever i'm streaming to come and greet me and kind of snipe me on the stream that's why it's called stream sniping it's kind of accepted to be okay as a thing to do uh in streaming for some reason it doesn't really have a bad rep as long as the person is normally cool uh, if the person is not cool the people generally do not like it however there is some dangers uh and there are some kind of uh thoughts that i have and kind of concerns that i want to express so shibuya kaho a good friend of mine who i've made so many videos with often does irl streams in japan and sometimes she does them alone however she tends to do them not in tokyo the odds of getting stream sniped kind of go down quite drastically once you leave Tokyo. I did an IRL stream for about eight days straight with a geographical exact location of where I was in real time to 15 to 30,000 viewers and only one person uh, actually came to us and said hi. Generally, it's quite safe to stream alone in Japan. Arguably one of the safest places in the world to stream if you're not streaming in Tokyo specifically. And Kaho was doing this. However, once Kaho had ended her stream and she was on her way back from that location to Tokyo, somebody had actually approached her who was watching on the stream knowing that she would need to get the train back home and kind of confronted her at the station off stream obviously when you have a camera running 24 7 broadcasting to ten thousands of people people are a lot less willing to commit crimes or do bad things so when the camera goes off and you're not streaming it suddenly becomes a bit scarier and now obviously kaho was very concerned and she tweeted my twitch chat waiting for me at a station in tokyo when they knew i was trying to catch my last train after streaming in shizuoka about an hour away from tokyo scared me in so many ways yeah this is extremely concerning especially given that kaho was streaming alone and that no one was there with her so it's very fortunate that it kind of just ended in a kind of creepy uh confrontation it didn't really go anything beyond that but who's to say it couldn't have? And obviously all of the replies to this post are really concerned and worried for Kaho. And, I, and I've told Kaho many times that I think that she should have people with her when she streams just in case. Because it's it's scary. Like, it, legit. Like, you... Connor says this, but won't stream with me every day. Okay? Hey, if you're so concerned, you better fucking show up on stream, Connor. Okay? Today, I need protection. I need white boy swag. I need you to fucking be spitting Japanese out here in these streets. Do you understand? You're a giant fridge man? Okay, guys, shut up. I, I yes, but like, you know, I, I need the protection of a of a of a Welshman. Okay, came back and Hassan Abi just want here. What? Are you doing trash days while you're in Japan? How many times do I have to say yes to this uh, question? I'm very excited to do it, actually. I am very, very excited to go on Trash Taste. I have so many. You guys know my fucking Hanime takes, okay? You know. And Trash Taste in and of itself is not even, like, you know, expressly anime. But I am very, very excited because I feel like it's going to fucking rip the fan base a little bit. Some people in the fan uh, in the fan base are gonna get mad. I I already I already started with Connor where I said Attack on Titan is flesh mecha, uh, which I think is a true take. The whole joke is that they don't watch anime. Yes, I know. It's literally true. It's fucking true. Connor doesn't want to admit it because he's. Yes, it's a human. It, the human the humanoid titans are 
literally flesh mecca. Anyone who doesn't agree with that is because they're coping. Okay, they just don't want to. They don't. They don't want to recognize it. I have a lot about uh, Otis politics that I want to talk about. Anyway, did you see their sub talking about you? Ha says we're defending you there. A subset of their family is going to be weird about it. It doesn't matter. I think ultimately they'll they'll like it if we vibe uh, on the on the podcast. That's it. Like if we vibe on the podcast and and um and like they vibe, it'll be fine. Yeah, Eva is a flesh mecca as well. Thank you. That's what I. That's why fucking. That's what I said. Let's go, dude. These takes are fucking gaining prominence. I am going to leave my mark on the anime community because technically Evas are fucking flesh meccas too, bro. Let's go. You don't understand. There was an insanely loud baggage in the Pokemon app. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I don't care. It's fine. Um, You don't see normal storylines as political. Ultimately, Oda just used a lot of real life lore, which happened to have politics. I think it's crazy to say that One Piece is not political when like one of the major thorough lines is like revolutionary action against the one world government. Like, that's crazy to me. Uh, like, you can't say One Piece is a slice of life anime. You know what I mean? It is so incredibly fucking political. Half the time, they're fighting and killing cops. And people are like, what? That's not politics. Like, I don't understand. It's like, bro, what do you mean? They're literally fighting against a police state. And, and like killing slavers and shit. You know what I mean? It's so politics. Anyway, you're misusing slice of life. Is it term here? <sighs> anyway. One of the three major factums, if factions is verbatim the Revolutionary Army. Yeah, I know. That's spoiler alert, but like, but yes. Also, yes. They're fighting the unholy hybrid of the British, American, and Dutch empires. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, even Skypea is like literally. I mean, we talked about this on Fear. Uh, we talked about this on Fear and like where I think like uh, Connor uh, came to terms with that. He was like, I had no idea it was like that. I just thought like it's fun pirate anime and it's cool and happy and exciting. Um, but you know, uh, it is true. It is incredibly uh, political. But um, anyway. Let's watch. Are giving people the exact, exact location of where you are. You're normally carrying a lot of equipment. You're worrying about what Twitch chat is saying. You're focusing on the camera. You're not actually paying as much what attention to the right surroundings now. as you would if you were just walking around normally. It is a completely different mindset that you're in. And of course, like any good YouTuber, this made me think about myself. <laughs> YouTuber try not to skew every single thing about themselves, challenge impossible difficulty. Obviously, I have had my fair share of creepy stream snipers. So here's one that happened with me and Rob. We were in a massage foot bath kind of parlor, I guess. And randomly, uh, this gentleman walked in wearing uh, a full gas mask, looking like a caustic mane in his true habitat, holding a laptop, live streaming from the laptop webcam. And this guy was fully Japanese. His English was not very good, but he was really interested in sniping foreign streamers for some reason so he had seen that one of my cables was acting up and he came to track me down uh, to give me a replacement cable which is uh i mean it's fine it's uh I've, I've heard of worse motives to stream snipe someone but then he whipped out his laptop with like a, a ps2 uh eye toy here and started streaming us streaming which which is just no it's not good more often than not uh, especially like Rob. Rob is an IRL streamer in Japan who is the GOAT. He's been doing it for so long. He's been here for years. And because I don't Rob like has been that. doing this for so long, he's built up a lot of friendly connections with a lot of businesses that will allow him to stream in Japan because they know that he's he's not doing anything bad and they know that he's not disrupting any of the customers and he's generally just a positive influence. However, these types of bonds or relationships with these businesses are very fickle. And if you do something that annoys them or you attract some attention that is unwanted, they might often not want you to stream in there ever again which is fair enough. Luckily, this person didn't make any ruckus or any of any disruptances, if you will, so it was fine. But it's just something that you have to think about. And I'm not even worried about my safety in those situations. My main concern when I'm streaming in Japan, and especially when I'm inside a business or a place, is that I do not 
want to get more attention than I'm already bringing on myself. I already have this cyborg-esque. Speaking of Rob, I just DM'd him as well. I DM'd Connor. I asked him what he's doing today, and I DM'd Rob as well uh, to link up with him. I should have done it earlier. I'm so silly. Uh, but yeah. Okay, but it's a little hypocritical to be anti being streamed yet stream everyone who doesn't have the power to stream back. <laughs> That's such a fucking stupid take, man. I know, I know you're joking, but it is pretty funny. Zero prep, Andy. Listen, man, listen. That's what makes my streams goaded, okay? It's a part of it, it's a part of the process. You get to experience someone who is not. You get to experience someone experiencing Japan for the first time. Oh, he just. Oh, dude, look at this guy. Fucking in the chat. I just DM'd you, Rob. Um, hit me up. Let's link up. Lie, getting mad at people, waving behind reporters. I know that that chatter is like saying that. I, I don't have an issue with like people, I guess, like streaming. I don't really give a fuck. But also what people don't realize, what people don't realize is that like those guys are there to center themselves on the content like around the content that you're making, right? Why don't you have connections manager? It's insane how people constantly tell you they DM'd you. Like you're that it's just like they're a lot of people do it because they want to snipe and gain like attention. And it fucking sucks. It, it, it's it's not cool because it like centers they want to center themselves, it's hypocritical, it's like derailing it's been over four years, Shatter. It's not happening. No plan, have an ass. Yeah, it's never. It's like the Game Awards kid mentality. Exactly. Exactly. It's just shitty. Suit on my back. I don't need more people crowding around me and, and giving me way too much attention that might adversely affect how streaming will be perceived in that location or that. Normally, if it's just like someone coming in for a brief interaction, I'm so understanding because it's like, I'm in Japan, you're Japanese or you live in Japan, you're never going to fucking see me again. You know what I mean? And you're like, this is my one shot to see this guy and show him that like, I really appreciate him as a fan and maybe take a photo. That's why I'm super understanding, maybe too understanding because it sometimes ends up cucking the content itself because it like gets in the way and it turns into a fucking gigantic meet and greet and disrupt shit like Connor is explaining right now. Um, so for that reason, I get it for that reason. I'm very understanding, especially if it's just like someone comes in and says, Hey, what's up? I love your content. And just like, I don't encourage, I don't encourage it. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to encourage it. I want you to not come over. Okay. But when someone does, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's just like, it is what it is. Not the end of the world, especially uh, as long as you don't hang around. When you start hanging around, it's like, that's weird. What the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck the fans, lol. What? Why do people who are fans themselves say stuff like this? People in the chat always get so fucking bent out of shape over stream snipers. But like, you know, you would not want me to fucking be uh, shitty to you if you saw me in public. You know what I mean? Class consciousness level zero. Yeah, even like, we're not even talking about labor at this point. You're like, bro, you bro, you have to understand it is a safety issue and also weird. Yeah, I mean, it is. It is a little weird. It, it is certainly a little weird. But, uh, you know, anyway, let's just watch. That place, right? I want to show that, hey, I can give promotion to this business and I'm not disrupting anything. And I'm not doing anything bad. I'm just in, out. I do my thing, show the viewers, maybe get more eyes on it. And I get some content. It's a win-win. And so that's why I can just be a little infuriating. But obviously another... I'll just tell you this much. My favorite thing is like when I'm walking and someone re literally randomly is walking down the street and they look up and they see my big ass and go, what the fuck? Okay. That's, that's, that's like, that's actually great. When someone just goes, holy shit, what the fuck? Like, I didn't expect to see you here. Why the fuck are you here? This is insane. Why the fuck am I here? That's the best kind of like fan interaction. When someone just goes like, what the fuck? What the hell is that? And it's just, that's not a sniper. That's an organic, you know, coincidence. The effort, the effort that it takes uh, to snipe someone kind of uh, makes it a little bit weird. You know what I mean? It feels like I'm about to get Shinzo abate right? 
she's about to Shinzo on my Abe and blow my fucking back out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want that. Yeah, you like that? March is laughing in the kitchen right now. He's been saying she jinju in my Ito. She jinju on my Ito until I'm horrified over and over again, by the way. It's premeditated, which makes it a bit weird. Yes, it is. It does. Huge concern is safety. You have no idea what somebody's motives are when they're tracking you down on a live stream. Maybe they just want a picture. Maybe they just want to say hi. Maybe they just want to get on camera for 10 seconds, or maybe they have more nefarious intentions. Maybe they want to try and steal something from you, or maybe they want to harm you in some way for whatever reason. You have to very quickly kind of play this off and figure out what's going on in the situation whilst having an audience of potentially 10 to 20,000 people watching you. You know, it's, it's a lot of stress and it takes a lot, a lot of brain power to figure out what the happening and what to do now obviously i'm very fortunate i stream mostly in japan so i haven't had to worry about people kind of doing things they shouldn't be doing to me on stream or saying things they shouldn't be saying but it can happen here are some other examples of kind of uncomfortable stream sniping moments that we've had uh me pete and chris were at a bar and again remember i do not want to disturb the business that's my like main concern is that i just do not want to be a burden to people around me by doing these streams i don't want to annoy or get in the way or interfere with any form of normal life that people have right a uh, stream sniper comes and it's obviously a little bit tipsy you know he and and you can't see this on the camera uh, but he basically blocks the way for the staff to get out with his baggage and the staff are, are visibly annoyed about this but you can't really see this on camera because of the way i've angled it he then proceeds to just kind of ramble on about some kind of incoherent stuff and just generally being a bit odd and uncomfortable why are you streaming this much on this trip enjoy the vacation brother i don't know if you know this but like i'm fucking brain broken and i love streaming like one i love streaming two i love sharing these experiences with my community and three it's not like i'm you know turning off the camera and going to fucking bed like i do shit i start streaming when everything is closed anyway you know what I mean? I start streaming when everything is closed. Like it's like fucking 7 a.m. is when I started streaming this morning. What do you want me to do? There's nothing going on anyway. Like it's not like he's doing politics chatter. Okay, I did a little bit of politics. Chill. Okay, we're doing a little bit of politics and more of like a regular slice of life streams. Okay, this is King of the Hill. This is King of the Hidu slice of life anime. Okay, but this time instead of being in Tok, uh, be, instead of being in uh, in, in Texas, we're in fucking Japan, okay? You're using slice of light incorrectly? I don't care. You keep getting mad at me. I, I'm, it's not going to change. I'm, as someone living in Japan, you are right. Not much going on until 10 a.m. at earliest. Yeah, so, like, I usually spend this time period between 6 a.m. to, like, 10 a.m. doing my regular streams and then switch over. Um... Not mad, it's just a bit cringe. Just don't want you to look like a fool. <laughs> How do you use slice of life? What is the correct terminology for it? Come on, nerds. Go ahead, give it to me so I don't look like a fool. <laughs> you are about to look like a fool, streamer. <laughs> I'm here to defend you. You are looking very bucka right now. You be spending your time being late. Yeah, shut up, bitch. 7 a.m., okay? Yeah, instead of 6, I am only able to be ready by 7 a.m. Because I have to take a shower and shit, too. So, like, you know, it takes a while. It's just the anime where people go about their boring life and there's no real substance. Yeah, that's, this, that's why I said this is slice of life. It was a joke, idiot. I don't even know how to use it correctly. Yeah, nope. Too late, hellbender. Everyone now knows you wanted to correct Mr. Animu. <laughs> Slice of life. Ooh, you did it wrong. I am an otaku. You fool. You. Uh, oh no, uh, baka. Yeah, in the tier of like fucking annoying nuisance unacceptable don't want it to ever happen okay i'll just sit straight up say it streamers i don't ever want to fucking interact with another streamer while i'm streaming okay and i mean like unless they're not streaming in which case it's totally fine 
But like, if I don't know you and you're just like, re- you're just fucking streaming and I don't know you and you come up to me streaming and put a fucking camera on my face. I'm like, what the fuck? Are, what are we doing here? What the hell? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, unless it's someone I know, if it's like Jake or, or you know, the angel of Shibuya himself uh, or fucking Connor or some shit like that. Like, obviously that's different. You know what I mean? But it is very weird. It's like very weird to just be like, yo, what's up? Are you streaming? What's up? Uh, uh." Like, it's like, I don't know you. I don't know what you're doing. It's like odd. Every time someone does that, I cannot help but go watch the alternate alternate stream. Shut up. You're the fucking idiot that says this shit. And you're the reason why they do it. Okay. That's not even true. He's not doing that. He's just saying that because he wants to encourage that kind of shit. Um... That she used to have in a Jay is so cringy. Exactly. I don't like that. Um, here. Let's finish this video. Take care, dude. Have a good have a good day. I hope you guys uh already found him. The worst, dude. Lingers, lingers and a counter stream sniper. Holy fuck. Like ay ay ay. But uh, I'll find it. Here it is. And obviously we've kind of signaled to this guy, hey, nice meeting you. See ya. Basically just saying, hey. Please leave now. Uh, and uh, this guy just kind of isn't really wanting to, and it's kind of hovering worst. around, you- and it's just quite uncomfortable. Oh, no. That's all right. And even at one point, falls over and nearly tips the table over. Again, just bringing so much attention to this already weird thing that I'm doing. And obviously, looking back, I felt like I could have handled this better. Maybe I should have just left the camera and just maybe explained to him very quickly, uh, privately. Hey, hey, man. Don't do this, but it's also hard. You have 10,000 people watching you and judging every single minute thing that you're doing. You have to juggle all of these uh, emotions and feelings and, and whatever is happening. And so I'd like to think that the reason I'm not too concerned about stream snipers is because I think I'm pretty good at handling these situations. I feel that I'm able to kind of juggle and figure out the vibe very quickly and, and kind of handle it as we go. And so I, I don't think that I've ever had any really bad experiences because I normally will kind of cut it off if I can tell that somebody is kind of up to something they shouldn't be or if they have the kind of vibe where you obviously don't want to be around them much longer. And it's not just myself that I worry about with stream sniping. I also worry about the other person. I have experience being on camera. I know how to compose myself on camera. I know how to talk and I know how to just not say dumb shit, except for trash taste. That's another, that's a different thing. However, sometimes people say things that I know that they don't mean it the way they said it just based off their demeanor. However, they what they say will be interpreted by the internet as far worse. A great example of this is when I was streaming uh, in LA with Ludwig. We were streaming at round one. The first hour uh, was pretty okay. We got recognized a few times, but obviously after the first hour, we figured out where we were Uh and had more time to kind of drive over. The second and third hour, uh, well, it was just insane. Like the the amount of stream snipers we had and the round one- Wait, they were dual streaming? They're so- Oh, because Ludwig's on YouTube, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, Nearly at one point, just stopped working because people just isn't this dude welsh we shouldn't watch him true dude truer words have never been said in the chat just wouldn't leave us alone all the staff started taking pictures a lot of people there uh, just kind of stopped what they were doing to come over and watch it was a whole thing it was crazy and i, I didn't really talk about it much at the time because i was just trying to get through it and we were just trying to get out when we turned off the camera it, it even got even crazier but we just wanted it to end there again ludwig is a huge deal uh it's just this is so funny we're certainly not all fans. Dude, fuck you. I'm not a fan. Okay, bro. Like, that's cool. You're not a fan. I got it. Streaming with Ludwig doing an IRL stream in one location, not moving around. Yeah, it makes sense. And it was just the two of us. We were a little concerned about safety, but it all worked out in the end, luckily. Obviously, streaming IRL in America is a different beast and a lot scarier, I would say, uh, just because anyone could have a gun on them, which is really concerning. He's Back right. To the point, sometimes they can be really well-intentioned stream snipers, 
who want to come and say hi on stream and maybe ask a question however they ask something or say something that comes off is really creepy or weird or intrusive a great example of this is What's on a good? stream i did with ludwig when we were going around round one in la somebody came up to me and was kind of being quite friendly and they had a jojo shirt and you know we were having a great time just chatting and i was trying to you know just get on with the crane games and he asked me oh where am i from in tokyo this motherfucker just loves crane games He's like i just want to do crane games bro stop talking to me i'm trying to do crane games this is a stream sniper. This is a good. This is an example of a good stream snipe. Okay. Oh yeah, it's true. Um. Oh fuck. Wait. What happened? I accidentally took the cam link, but it didn't actually break the camera. Let's go. And then he's like, "No, no, no. Where are you? Where do you live? Where do you live in Tokyo? Yeah, yeah. Do you know which house? This is? Which house? What the fuck, yo? What's up? Let's go, dude. It's at 3K, though. You want to put the Wi-Fi buddy on, too? Yo, my man got the Gimby today. Are we using the same camera? Yeah. Are you fine with using the same camera? I, I made it so that I was going to Wi-Fi, so I could just learn how to adjust it. Okay. Wow. Dude, we got to upgrade. We got to upgrade. March is... March is going crazy with it. Where's where's Saikuno? Uh, what did he say? Wait, what? Uh, look, hold on. Uh, we're 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 trying to set up right now. And we're trying to we're trying to figure this stuff out. Okay. Connor's threatening me in DMZ saying I know where you live because I told him I was going to stream snipe him the next time he streams. You can't trust the Welsh. This is this is the this is the moral of the story, you know? You you tell a Welshman where you live one time, he comes to your house one time, it's over, you know what I mean? Um Anyway, 